A new committee is tackling problems they see in Bemidji's animal control policies. Bemidji's Great River Rescue Animal Shelter helped get this push started. Concerned locals met for the second time to discuss a number of things last night they want to see changed in city ordinances. One concern is the high number of stray cats in the Bemidji community. They're weighing the possibility of a trap, neuter and release program, which would slow down the population's growth. A lot of people want to bring feral cats to us at Great River Rescue, and most of the time we can't take them because uh, they're just not safe to handle. Um, and if it's not safe for our staff to handle or volunteers to handle them, then we just, we, we don't have adequate resources to take them in here. You know, the Humane Society in the pound can only take in so many strays. A lot of those strays that have become part of a wild cat colony, um, it's very difficult to rehabilitate and to adopt them out. The idea came up of doing, um, maybe looking at doing a trap, spay, neuter, and release. So these animals that have already built these colonies would be spayed and neutered so that they would not continue to reproduce and create these colonies. It would end with that generation. There's also the matter of euthanization. Great River Rescue is a no-kill shelter, but the Bemidji City Pound is different. By ordinance, they must send an animal to a shelter like Great River for adoption or put it down after five days. They'll often keep animals for longer than that to avoid euthanization, but this committee wants the law itself changed. If I'm moving to Bemidji and I have a cat and I look at that ordinance, I'm like, so they're going to euthanize my cat after five days if I don't claim it? You know, cause, so it's just something that I think should be taken out if we're not practicing it. Everybody at the police department puts great effort into trying to find homes for the animals that go unclaimed because nobody likes to see you know, the animals euthanized. It becomes an issue because all of these animals are being bred when there are mil literally millions of animals that are homeless that need to be adopted and um, ones are dying in shelters while other ones are being bought from pet stores that come from puppy mills. So it's, it's, a, it's a very large, vicious circle. Jordan says spaying and neutering strays would go a long way toward preventing euthanization when possible. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.